All right, so now on this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Amazon SES with your Mawic instance so that you can sell, send emails from your Mawic uh, campaigns and stuff. Okay, so again, my email address is set up with Bluehost and also my domain. So you're going to have to verify two things. Your domain name by changing the DNS settings and then you, you have to verify your email address by simply receiving an email from Amazon and clicking the link so that you can verify the account. Uh, okay, so first, what I always like to do is verify the domain from where you're sending email addresses. If you're simply, okay, so domain, whatever your domain support. So I already, so what I'm doing, but I already done it is well grounded. Actually, it's rvip.club. This is the domain, not the subdomain, but the domain. And make sure you click generate DKIM settings. And then once you click verify, you're going to get a similar uh, display as this. But basically what it's going to tell you and give you is that it's going to give you this record so that you can put it on your DNS so that this domain name can be verified. Okay, it's going to give you, uh, tell you to add a text type record with this name and this value. Okay, so inside Bluehost, we go to zone, DNS zone editor and then we select our domain. Okay, and we copy the name of this value and then we change the type to text here. Put the name and we add the value here and we add the record again i have already done this but that's how you do it then once you add the value you can your domain is verified but it only has basic authentication so if you want to prov provide an extra layer of security to make sure that your emails are not landing on the spam folder, you want to add the KIM authentic authentication. And the process is very similar. The only difference is that you are adding three records and instead of being typed text, like this one right here, it's type C name. But again, it's inside this same zone editor all you have to do is, this should be blank, okay? So you change this to C name, you add the host record name, and then the value, and you add it. And you have to add all three of them so that your domain can be verified. Once you have done this, all of the email addresses that you add from that domain are going to have are going to be verified through the DKIM IM. Okay, so all you have to do is verif to verify the specific email address that you want to use to send emails with is to add in through here. So, uh, for example, here, well grounded at RVIP that club. Okay, and once you click verify, what it's going to do is that it's going to send an email to your inbox, to the inbox of this email address, which is going to include a link that you have to click to verify. Once you click it, your email address is going to be verified and you can start working on actually setting up Mawic, connecting Amazon SES to your Mawic instance, okay? So next, 
to actually set up Mavic, you go to settings, configuration, and here we're going to go to email settings. Okay, and we're changing this. So name to, to send email as this is going to be well grounded cafe. That's the name of the client. The email being used is going to be well grounded cafe at rvip.club, blah blah blah. Here, because we're using Amazon SES, we're changing it to Amazon SES. You have to make sure you're using the server. My server, as you can see here, is the North Virginia server, which is the on the right here, it's on the East Coast, US East Coast. Okay. On Mavic, you make sure that you're using East Coast or West Coast. Okay, for the username, okay, so now we're going to get to that part. So username and password right here are going to be SMTP uh, credentials. So all you have to do is click on this tab, create my SMTP credentials. You wait for it to load. And what's going to happen is that it's going to give you the username and password only once. And then it's going to give you the ability to download a file with the username and password so that you can save it. Because if you lose these credentials, you're not going to be able to use them anymore. Now, that doesn't mean that you lose access to your Amazon SES account. That just means you lose the, that specific SMTP access to your account. So you can create many, many, many username and passwords. So, but it's more secure if you can keep this username and password saved uh, so that you don't have to create many more accounts in the future. So we're just going to click create. And Amazon sometimes can take a little bit. So we're just going to wait. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. All right, so it loaded and just click show SMTP credentials, copy and paste here, copy and paste here. Test connection. And right now I'm going to only test connection and save because I think, I'm not sure, let's see. If I send, try to send this email, Let's see. Okay, so again, we go to email settings and the password not, is not showing anymore, but it's there, it's configured into the settings. So if you click send test email, what's gonna happen? Okay, on my instance, is it says success. The reason it says success is because I have, and okay, here you can download your credentials and save them anywhere. I recommend you save them on the cloud. So, so you download that and close, you go back to, well, I'm going to go back to Amazon SES so I can show you why it may not be working for you if you click test email, okay? Because what happens with when you create a newly 